Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Chiefs coming up next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost the Super Bowl in there too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they were one of the heavy favorites to win the NFC, and they were able to get it done. And now they look for that elusive sixth Super Bowl title. Remember, after going 5-0 in the first five appearances here, they've lost two straight. Super Bowl 47 to the Ravens in New Orleans and Super Bowl 54 to Kansas City in Miami. They'd love to start another streak like they had in the 80s when they won four Super Bowl titles. The 2023 season has one game left. Here we go. Super Bowl 58 underway from Vegas. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Right to the air is Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And he's going to be dropped following a pick up the seven past the 30 to the 32. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. Now what a first down pickup of eight. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Diablo Lemur. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. If I give a little nod of respect across the field for that one, and let them know they'll be back the very next series. So here are the 49ers and their offense in great field position already. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and four. 
Now Samuel. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Third and five. Here's Purdy. And the Chiefs are going to get it. Trent McDuffie getting the chance to blitz and finishing it off with a sack. And their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass, but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of the game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. Now Mahomes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, then take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard, because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing a second interception. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Oh, boy. Christian McCaffrey shaken up. So hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Purdy now to throw off the play action. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. 
Completion was given up, and that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Two drives will tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Fair catch signal for it and taken at about the 15-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 16. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards alone. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out there and he just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now Holmes again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, get me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver trying to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Mahomes now on first down. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Now a second and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. They'll drop the throw. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Point 
Saints one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Niners will go on offense first and ten. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And, partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. Well, you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Pretty slow, complete here to Ayu. First time that they call his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Give running right is Mitchell. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 31 yards there to first down. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. That's complete to the tight end, Werner. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 19. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. Nothing, nothing, our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball at the 14 for second and five. A throwing here, Purdy. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll run with Mitchell. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Niners post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? 
Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Traverius Ward. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. Now Moody for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Now, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. A very solid gain of 27. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to light, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. Mahomes now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Throwing is Mahomes on third. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Well, this offense and Elijah Mitchell coming back onto the field now. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, the last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runner. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running game. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Purdy. This one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Go over the dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Shotgun now with Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here's second and ten. Here's Samuel. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. 
And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. This is Samuel. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. And that play stopped behind the line by a corner. Trent McDuffie getting in there. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Here's Purdy. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked. There he goes left side. And he has brought this one back. A football recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. From a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Elijah Mitchell ready to get back to work with the rest of the 49er offense. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards you've really done some damage in an NFL game and now he's looking just to add to his totals Purdy looking to throw on first down here throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel and this one will go to the 28 yard line They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now second and three. A give running left. It's McCaffrey, and he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, OK, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Offensive linemen love creating for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Just need a yard here, second and one. And they'll run it here. 
And a pretty good burst there as they get this across field and down to the 46. 13 yards there and a Niner first. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Purdy looking to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Purdy from the gun. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Niners first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Here's Purdy on first and 10. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now second and five. Purdy will look to throw again here. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the 49ers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now Purdy to the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the 49ers continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. CD, for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. 
How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. Have to review the play. Ruling on the field. Stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. An extra point try now for Moody. It's good, and it is now 21-7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he'll weave all the way up to just a few yards shy of midfield. A great return. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get into that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Mahomes. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. It's a gain of six, and that will be the final play of this first half. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. The highlights Coach. are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break. But I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. That's going to be caught by Samuel. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Pretty throw complete here to Ayu. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the rush coming, and he's taken down. That was Justin Reed, the safety, who got to the quarterback. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Back to throw, Purdy. Gets this one to use check. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, they certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Purdy now to throw. And that is incomplete. the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away pressure coming and this looks like a short kick personal foul roughing the kicker defense trailing here in the second half went for the aggressive play got a little too aggressive you've got to know when to pull up or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. 
No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel, 33 yards. And the Niners will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle, that's called in by Tony. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do, where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Mahomes throw caught by Tony. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here now, second and four. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes. 
That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Pacheco will take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. So that winds up a seven play drive all told, and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. Makes you get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. And he's taken down. A cheap sack. Chris Jones forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And some run to work. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 11. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And able to find a little space. He gets this up over the 15 to the 16. Jair Brown on the stop there. 
Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six. Again, it's Pacheco. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. Open man right side is Tony. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Niners set to take over on offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you feel like you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down. Get to the fourth quarter. Try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he's up past the 45-yard line. That one goes for eight yards. are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. And Purdy's throw going to be taken in by Ayuk. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the 46, here's second and two. Purdy bootlegging it. Connects with Kittle underneath. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Birdie off the play fake. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13, and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. I'm not sure that the surprise was that they actually faked it. That's classic territory to go ahead and do it. The surprise to me is that they were successful. I'm not sure the defense was really prepared. And now they're going to keep the drive alive here. Really big play on the fake punt. Ball start. Awesome. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. 
McCaffrey following the penalty. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Throwing here, Purdy. That is caught by the tight end, Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Niners are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and ten. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That ball caught. It's Rice. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 30 yards there. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30 fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down a three score game here late you can probably rule out the comeback but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution. Even the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try... And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. 
Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead, fourth quarter of this Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and 10. looking to throw oh, on the throw led him too much that time it's incomplete he shook his head right when he released that throw he knew it was going to be a little off target yeah the excitement got him on that one wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open and it would have been an easy throw so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down now Purdy completes it to the tight end Kennel now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. This second and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. The offense on third down tonight, just one conversion and eight tries. Not good. This is third and four. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And that will be incomplete as well. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Here comes the 49ers punter now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass earlier. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Now Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. 19 yards that time for number 19. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? 
From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They go play fake. Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he is caught. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw complete there to Rice. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And again, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now it's Mahomes again. This is caught. Touchdown! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know. It doesn't feel right. Exactly. Touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts right out the clock, life will be good. But if you roll on gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's got room. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. take a knee here. Second and 11. And they'll go on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title battle. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. James now to return it. And the San Francisco will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.